Sam Hewen has had a pretty awesome career so far, but many people haven't really heard of him. He became well-known after starring in Outlander, but this Scottish actor has been around for years now. He has some phenomenal roles that we really should all be talking about. So stay tuned to today's video as we discuss seven of Sam Hewen's best performances from throughout his career. Number seven, Any Human Heart. The first role to discuss in this video is the four-part drama series that Sam Hewen starred in many years back. This was called Any Human Heart and was a four-part drama series that aired on Channel 4 in the U.S. Okay. The series centers around writer Logan Mount Stewart as his life spanned across every decade throughout the 20th century. The lead of this series is Jim Broadbent, who delivers an insanely good performance. Sam Hewen only has a small role in the project as he plays Lieutenant McStay, but he has a very strong impact while he is on screen. Number 6. The Spy Who Dumped Me This 2018 action comedy film is directed by Susanna Fogel. The Spy Who Dumped Me has an amazing cast, including Kate McKinnon, Mila Kunich, Gillian Anderson, Justin Thoreau, Hassan Minaj, and of course, course, Sam Hewen. This film is centered around two friends, played by Mila Kunis and Kate McKinnon, who are chased through Europe by their CIA agent ex-boyfriends. In The Spy Who Dumped Me, Sam Hewen plays a man named Sebastian, who is an agent who aids them throughout their journey in Europe. He seems to have a very fun time with his performance, and holds his own against some of the biggest comedy actors in the industry right now. Number 5. A Princess for Christmas Here's another comedy project that Sam Hewen stars in, alongside some of the biggest actors in the industry. A Princess for Christmas is a TV comedy special directed directed by Michael Domain and stars actors like Roger Moore and Katie McGrath. Sam Hewen happens to play a prince who falls in love with an American during a visit to his holiday home. The film is very cheesy and corny, but shows the range that Sam Hewen has as he succeeds in portraying this Prince Charming type character. Number 4. Emulsion Sam Hewen seems like he's been in everything through his career, as this next project is a noir psychological thriller titled Emulsion. This is a much smaller scale film and is something much more akin to a student project. The film centers around the story of a man when his wife disappears without a trace, she went missing at a parking garage, so he goes there every day in hopes of her return. One day, he sees a woman being abducted around the same area his wife went missing and goes on an adventure to discover what happened to this woman and his wife. The film does have some action threads, as the storyline is similar to something like Taken, but Sam Hewen brings his own acting prowess to this project and pulls us through the journey. Number 3. To Olivia This is one of his most recent projects, as it was released in 2021. To Olivia is a project directed by John Hay, and stars Hugh Bonneville as Roald Dahl. This covers the marriage between Roald Dahl and Patricia Neal, as well as the loss of their daughter Olivia. Sam Hewen happens to play Paul Newman, another real-life figure in the film, and he embodies the likeness of him really well into Olivia. This is one of the weirdest projects yet, but is one of his best as he plays a real-life person once again. Number 2. Bloodshot Bloodshot was released in 2020 and is a superhero film based on the Valiant Comics character of the same name. The film was directed by David S.F. Wilson and starred Vin Diesel in the leading role role, as well as performances by Isaac Gonzalez, Hewen, Toby Kebbell, and Guy Pierce. The film follows a soldier who was killed in action. However, he comes back to life with superpowers with the help of an organization that wishes to use him for their own gain. Hewen plays Jimmy Dalton in a supporting role and holds his own against the rest of the cast. The film did not perform well at the box office and received negative reviews. However, Hewen delivers a strong performance. Finally, number one, Outlander. At the top of this list is something many of you would have expected. Of course, it's Outlander. Outlander is one of the best television series airing right now and is definitely Sam Hewen's best role to date. His performance skyrocketed his career and allowed him to reach into other roles like Bloodshot and To Olivia. The show is going into its seventh season and Sam Hewen continues to bring phenomenal performances each and every episode. The success of this show really relies on Sam Hewen right now as his career is blossoming. If you haven't heard of Outlander, it's about a Scottish soldier who ends up in a love affair with Claire Fraser, a time-traveling nurse. It sounds a bit crazy, and it is at times, but Outlander is definitely a TV show you should check out as it's full of romance, action, and drama all wrapped in one beautifully directed and acted project. And that is the list from today's video of Sam Hewen's best performances from throughout his career so far. There are obviously many more films and projects he has acted in, so let us know down in the comments section below your thoughts on his career so far and what other projects you recommend us to watch. We definitely want to see where his career is going to go next, as Outlander isn't going to last forever. After the series is done, he might land himself an even bigger role in something like Marvel or even DC. And now, stay tuned for some more television news to end this video. The final series of Better Call Saul wrapped up just recently this year and was described as one of the most perfect pieces of television to those who tuned in week by week. To celebrate this momentous occasion, many fans were expecting Better Call Saul to pick up a few Emmys during the awards in September. It wrapped up a long list of nominations at the ceremony, and many fans expected both Bob Odenkirk
Dunkirk and Ray Seahorn to pick up Best Actor and Actress, respectively. Before this current Emmy Award show, Better Call Saul has been nominated a whopping four to six times since the beginning of it in 2015, but has sadly never taken home a trophy. Sadly, that didn't change this year either. Succession was announced as the Best Drama winner, with Jesse Armstrong taking the award for the best writing of a drama series. Lee Jung Jae ended up winning Best Lead Actor in the Male category for his role in Squid Game. Julia Garner won Best Supporting Actress in a Drama Series, meaning that Reese Seahorn wasn't even recognized for her role in Better Call Saul as Kim Wexler. Her role in Better Call Saul has arguably become one of the best female performances in a television series yet, and many fans were devastated that she didn't win an award. Fans were not impressed by this news, so they headed to Twitter to talk about the snub and that last expectation. This is what was said on Twitter. Someone logically please explain to me how hashtag Better Call Saul can go 0 for 46 over 6 seasons at the Emmy Awards. Hashtag Saul Sweep, hashtag Emmys 2022, hashtag Emmys, a viewer fume. The hashtag Emmys are dead to me now. Hashtag Better Call Saul will remain as the greatest TV show for decades, another agreed. At Rhea Seahorn and at Mr. Bob Odenkirk and the awesome cast and crew of hashtag Better Call Saul, you have our eternal love and respect. These stupid hashtag Emmys don't deserve you, a follower pen. Did I miss something or did Better Call Saul not win a single award tonight? Because if that's true, I'll riot. Hashtag Emmys, hashtag Emmys 2022. One queried, it's embarrassing for the hashtag Emmys that at Better Call Saul, a show widely viewed as finishing with one of the best seasons in TV history, not just this year, but of all time, was shut out tonight, a Twitter user added. Shut out. Absolute lunacy from an award show trying to become relevant again. Both Bob Odenkirk and Ray Seahorn were seemingly unfazed by the announcement as they took to Twitter to talk about it. Ray Seahorn tweeted out a photo of her outfit last night, saying that, the last eight years I've had the honor of working with the very best on stage and off, she captioned the selfie. Bob Odenkirk also tweeted out a photo of the two in the audience with this caption, far, far more than I deserve. Ray, thanks for holding my head off the concrete floor. It's absolutely crazy that this phenomenal television series didn't win anything and hasn't won anything in the past. Hopefully, next time we see a change in this. The next time the Emmys roll around, the last season of Better Call Saul will be eligible to be voted upon. So hopefully, the phenomenal performances of both Ray Seahorn and Bob Odenkirk have finally been recognized by the voters. And that's the end of today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed this latest video. If you did, would you please let us know down in the comments section below? It would be very helpful. Make sure to like the video, comment down below, and of course, subscribe to the channel with the notification bell rung. Thank you for watching today's video. Bye.